Hi everyone, I'm Kate and I'm Maria. We are working at AirLab and today as usual we have prepared a new video for you. All week long we are working hard in cold and rainy St. Petersburg. And finally on the 25th of August we went to sunny Samara to take part in unforgettable event. The last weekend of August, AirLab organized their first conference, Robonomics 2017, on the bank of the River Volga. Friendly atmosphere, amazing weather, and of course, a lot of new information. That's how our conference was. Well, we were doing our best to make an informative video for you. Let's see it and try to feel the atmosphere of blockchain community. As the members of AirLab live in different cities and even more so in different countries, that was a great opportunity to get together. But the list of the conference participants doesn't end here. We were visited by a lot of guests who brought their projects, ideas and researchers to share with us and each other. It was so pleasant to see such a big number of people with fire in their eyes. Everybody was involved in the process of getting new knowledge, lectures, presentations and spirited debates. The conference was opened by our leader Sergei Lanchakov. In the speech he reminded us how robotics was developing, how a human started to interact with robots and gave us an intro to management of machine world. Besides, Sergei shared how, in his opinion, robot economics would work. The next speaker was the progressor of the AirLab team, Alexander Kapitonov. He told us what we should study to program robot economics. Besides the work in AirLab project, Alexander is conducting academic research at Ekmo University in St. Petersburg. Therefore, he reported how robotics appeared, having added also about how it appeared exactly at Ekmo University. Now there are enough eggs uh, and actual students from there working at AirLab, owing to Alexander. What's more, he stated where it's worth studying robotics in Russia, mentioned online courses and useful books. After that, Alexander Kropenkin, who is a developer of Aero Project, captured our attention. He provided us a short trip to international history of robotics and then moved to introduction to urbanomics programming. Also, he described the structure of Aero development, what's now and what will be achieved in the upcoming releases. The first of our guests who delivered the speech was Sergei Klachanov, an Agile coach from Sberbank. He presented the Agile manifest and came out with the process of making decisions. He proved that the main idea of AIR project decentralized system is effective. Denis Aldato from Parity Technologies ended the first day with a report about the experience of GitLab CR implementation in cross-platform application development. During the whole conference, the participants could use the opportunity provided by our partner company, Drone Employee, to take a flight on a drone. Both two days, Alexander Svistov was helping us to see the world through the drone's eyes. Well, let's move to the second day. Firstly, our partner company, Nectar, informed us about the conception of smart cities and presented their IoT technology. Afterwards, we got to know about the next project based on AERA technology, AERA car insurance, presented by our colleague Taras Himelianenko. He offered an interesting solution to car insurance, which guarantees not only security and transparency of insurance information, but also it registers car crash details and allows automating the process of insurance payments. Earlier, we published a video about our partner company, Gold Mint, which has a project named CustodyBot. In truth, it's a robot-based pawn shop, making it possible to evaluate a golden jewelry by defining the finest mark and weighing. Going forward, Alexander Kopenkin summarized and told how AERA actually is used in the projects of the previous speakers. After a short coffee break, three new speakers came out and continued the conference. 
a representative of Kuka highlighted the history of the company and emphasized the tendency to automation and digitalization of everyday processes. The video of Robert Kuka is really impressive. Just look at it. As we said before, a lot of ITMO University students take part in area development. Alisher Hasanov has already graduated and now is working at AirLab as an industrial engineer. He showed where blockchain technologies can be used in industry and represented the results of his work, a model of automated container shipping. Finally, Alexander Kapitonov said a few words about how much AirLab did this summer and told us what the team is going to do this autumn. Then he turned it over to Sergei Lanshikov, who gave us more details about Air project organization and development. Air Lab has a German advisor from Baker McKenzie. Max Kutprod couldn't fail to make a visit. He disclosed his opinion on robot economics against their background as a lawyer. Our colleagues Denis Soldatov and Nikolai Wolf share with us some aspects of WebAssembly and blockchain cooperation and make an intro to Polkadot. Come up to anyone on the street and ask, what is common between art and robotics? I'm sure that everybody will answer nothing. But Dmitry Marfin has his own opinion on it. He introduced his project, the Scientific Center of Fantastic. This project is aimed at pushing a common man closer to the machine world. The last speaker was Artem Yakovlev, and he presented us uh, his conception of neo-institutional economics. I'd like to emphasize the cultural program of our conference. Every participant could enjoy the live music and wonderful cocktail dinner after sessions. Also, we listened uh, to famous fairy tales by a uh, guest artist, Dmitry Gaduk. To sum up, it was a great experience for everyone, especially for AirLab, like the event planner. As we said before, that was our first experience. But now we are sure that it shouldn't be the last one. Thank you for watching us. We hope that you liked our video. Subscribe our channel and see you soon. Bye.